Hi, Caleb with Brownells here. I'm back again with Andrew from Surefire, and in today's product spotlight, we're gonna be taking you through some of their handheld lights. So Andrew, take us through some of that sweet Surefire innovation. Awesome, man. So, um, you know, sometimes looking at our product line, it can be a bit daunting when you're trying to figure out what flashlight to buy. Um, and so to make it a little bit easier as far as dissecting, um, we make a lot of different products because we want you to have the right tool for the right job. Sure. Um, so one of the first things that you can look at is like, what's the application of the light? Meaning, is it going to be an everyday carry light, live in a pocket? Or is it going to be more of a general purpose light or like a tactical light, like a duty light? Does it live in a pouch, a nightstand, a glove box, or is it living in a pocket? So our product line is kind of separated into lights that have pocket clips on them and then lights that don't. So the pocket clip lights obviously meant to be an everyday carry type fit in a pocket light. Um, so starting with like on the left right here, that's our everyday carry. It's our EDC LT1. Um, awesome everyday carry light as a gas pedal tail cap. So it's light for low, harder for high, a high of 500 lumens. The pocket clips dual direction um, and then on the far right side the opposite you know we have our, our more general purpose lights and the, we have our dual fuel fury um, so it takes two different types of batteries it can use an 18650 or CR123s depending on if you want it to be rechargeable or if you want it to be disposable batteries that you can change in the field um, but this is an awesome light to live in a pouch on a, a vest or a, a belt kit or just in the glove box anything like that um, the next thing you want to look at is is probably the switching type. So there's a lot of different, you know, uh, polarizing views on what kind of switches people like. Some people like what they call a tactical switch. That gas pedal is actually one of those where you cannot click it for constant on. Um, the thought process behind that is, you know, if you're in a stressful situation, you can't possibly leave that light on showing people where you are. So as soon as you let go, that light extinguishes. And there's some validity in that thought. Um, another way of looking at it is, you know, there's switches that have a, a click type switch. So like right here, I can click this for constant on, uh, and then you don't have to worry about maintaining constant pressure to have the illumination keep going. Right. Uh, you just have to be cognizant of turning it off. And you can still, with, with a, a light like this, you know, momentarily use it, but then you just release it, you don't push it all the way through to click it on. Um, so yeah, figuring out what type of switch you want. Uh, is a good way to, to, to figure out, you know, what exact light you want to purchase. Um, and then battery type, you know, we have both, like I mentioned before, dual fuel lights, full rechargeable lights like these stilettos right here, and then lights that use our, our 123s, um, which is a, a, a really awesome power source. They're super small, super powerful, um, really good shelf life, really good performance and variance of temperatures. Um, and so, yeah, figuring out again, you know, where the application of where you're going to be carrying or storing that light. Um, what type of switching you like, uh, and then the fuel source. Um, the last thing that you should look at is probably the beam pattern. Majority of our lights have what we call a hybrid beam pattern. So that means there's a, a hot spot in the middle that gives you a decent amount of distance out of it, and then a good peripheral spill. So it's kind of like a general purpose light. Majority of our lights have that. Um, we also have some lights that have like a max vision beam pattern. So that's a little bit wider of a beam. It's like uh, a, a little bit more of a wall of light, you know, so not as good for reaching out far, but really good for those intermediate or close distances and giving you a little bit more situational awareness in the periphery. Uh, and then we have our turbo series, our brand new turbo series of lights. Uh, and that's the opposite direction in that it's a full, you know, high candela spot beam pattern that's going to give you maximum distance. Right. So between those kind of categories, you should be able to filter your way down into the right light for you. Um, one of our most popular light uh, lights as of late, or actually two of the most popular lights as of late, have been our Stiletto series. I've been carrying this exact one in my pocket. Um, this is the Stiletto Pro. Essentially, it's a rechargeable um, lithium ion, excuse me, lithium polymer flat pack battery. Uh, has a tail cap switch for tactical use. This is putting out a thousand lumens. Um, there's a bezel switch for, you know, admin, if you just want to read, you know, a menu or a map or something, low, medium, high, and then okay. it's micro USB rechargeable. Um, pocket clip can be reversed whether you want to carry it bezel up or bezel down. So this has been super popular, both the Stiletto uh, and then the Stiletto Pro and then the standard Stiletto, which is a polymer version. It's a little bit lighter, a little lower output, um, but both of these have been super popular for everyday carry. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, kind of looking at these, you can kind of just see the evolution of just the flashlight or, you know, torch, depending on what part of the world you're from. Yep, yep, so, exactly. Um, 
and uh, you know, there's just a lot of really cool stuff, especially that stiletto. That's probably one of the coolest EDC lights I've you know, ever seen or got my hands on. Yeah, man, it's uh, once you have it and you use it, you, you, you really can't go without it. If you forget it, you're like, oh man, I don't have my light with me. So it's an awesome light to carry. Yeah, so I mean, thanks for bringing these out for sure. And that's everything you guys need to pretty much consider when selecting a handheld light. Yep. Um, I'm not gonna say, you know, you should get a Surefire, but you know, you should consider those things with everybody. I'm um, gonna say that, you should get a Surefire. You should get a Surefire. You know what, we're just gonna say it. You should get a <laughs> Surefire, so. But no, Andrew, I appreciate you coming out. Um, and stay tuned for some more videos. We're gonna be breaking down some different things, go over some weapon lights, talk about uh, lumens versus candela. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.